Hello, bonjour. Finally, the video of AC illustrations to wrap up this set. All the illustrations in just one video. And this set took me a long time because I started it in 2021 and it's now 2023. And they are all digital paintings. So let's start at the beginning. A is for Apple of Eden. I chose to paint Altair holding the Apple of Eden. A is also for Altair, but I didn't want this to be too cliche, so I chose an object instead to be the subject matter. I find I used to paint different back then. I did like to render a lot and smooth out edges. Nowadays I don't. I tried to make the piece dynamic by choosing a slight Dutch angle for the composition and I added the light effects from the apple using a glow layer. B is for Brotherhood. I went with Ezio from the game Brotherhood, still one of my favorite games of the franchise. Mostly because you can actually ride the horse inside the city. Couldn't do that before. Ezio is the only one that is not monochromatic. I thought it would be an interesting way to make him stand out from the other characters. C is for Connor. I painted him on a tree. It's the first time you could climb a tree in the games. Overall, I tried to keep the colors warm and use pastel green. I just thought of trying a different color scheme. It's not great, but it's cute. I do like it. D is for Desmond. Another slight Dutch angle to give a bit more of interest. Also the angled lights in the back. I added the yellow behind Desmond to add contrast and focus on the face. And also some backlighting to help stand out. E is for Ezio, of course. I added the soft backlight because he's a pretty boy, but looking back on this piece, it's not very pretty. F is for Freedom Cry. So I painted a Diwali in the Caribbean jungle. This was a really good expansion. I think it's an expansion or a smaller game. It's too bad it was so short. G is for Grandmaster as seen Grand Master of the Templar Order, which is why I painted Haytham Kenway. Not my favorite character at all, but I do like how it turned out. The grey, greenish, bluish sky and the red leaves. I think it's why I like it most. H is for Hidden Blade. I drew Aveline on this instance with her lady outfit. She is definitely one of my favorite of all main characters. And it was a fun game for the PS Vita. I really loved the PS Vita. I is for Italy. I tried a different approach and chose to focus on the landscape. The main characters are on the roof and you can tell it's still a fan art piece for the game as opposed to a painting of Florence. I added the night sky and stars. I felt it made it prettier. J is for Jacob. Another painting that when I finished it, I thought it looked great. Looking back on it, it's not so great. But I do like how the eyes and the nose turned out. I kind of lost interest at this time since the next one I painted it was months later. Actually, it was mid-2022 when I decided to continue the set. With K is for Kenway. I painted all the Kenways because... Well, just because. They are all Kenways. Here you can see I start to use some texture brushes. L is for Liberation. I painted Aveline again, this time a full body piece with background. I still like this one, especially the colors and the shapes in the clouds. I like how the brush strokes turned out. And I think she looks really pretty with her dreadlocks flowing in the wind. 
Again, I lost interest after this one, and it wasn't until three months later that I picked the set back up again. With M is for Mary Reed. At this point, you can tell I went even more extreme with the textured brushes. I don't know, I just like the look more. It's more interesting. I mean, it's more fun for me when I paint it, and it's also more interesting to look at, in my humble opinion. I just feel like I don't need to render everything perfectly for people to understand what the painting is. N is for Notre Dame, another illustration where the main subject is supposed to be the landscape. In this one, I added Arno jumping and looking at the camera. I went with that Dutch angle again to give some dynamism to the piece. I also played with the vignette look by making the white of the canvas turn into pigeons. O is for order, as in the Templar order. I painted Rodrigo Borgia. I had a lot of fun with this one. I kept the cross in a solid white color to give contrast and only showed part of his face. I wanted to convey the sense of evil in this piece. P is for pirates, painting the pirates from Black Flag. This was a very fun one to draw as well. I got to add a tropical background. And I always love to paint tropical things. Three pirates friends having fun in the Caribbean. Q is one of those letters that is hard to find a word for, but I went with Quartermaster. In James Bond, the Quartermaster is Q who gives Bond all his gadgets. So I was thinking Leonardo da Vinci is pretty much the Q to Ezio, since he creates the weapons he uses. So I went with this piece. Leo is showing Ezio one of his inventions. R is for Raton Haketon. That is Connor Kenway's real name, or native name, and I painted his portrait. I went with a pretty pastel color palette for this one. I really like the pastel green and pastel pink combination. I think it looks good on him. S is for siblings. I painted the Fry siblings from Syndicate. Yes, S can also be for Syndicate. I wanted to paint both of them, but I wanted to focus on Evie because I had already painted Jacob for the letter J. So I chose a pose where she would be the main subject of the piece. T is for Templar. I made a video of the process for this one. It's on my channel already. I painted Elise from Unity. U is for Unity. So I painted both characters, Arno and Elise. Here I was just feeling like doing portraits, so that's what I did. V is for Venice. I painted Ezio at the Venice Carnival. I used a Dutch angle again. And I wanted to try a bigger illustration, so I decided to include a background. This one is also a video on my channel. The value is for weapon. I painted my favorite weapon in the AC universe, the Rose Scepter of the Queen of France that you can get in AC Unity. X is for XOXO. X is another letter which is hard to pick what to paint. So I went with the XOXO as in hugs and kisses. And I painted Ezio and the courtesans. Y is for Yusuf. I just went with a portrait of Yusuf from Revelation. I really like this character when I played that game. And lastly, we have Seth. As seen Seth is for sleeping sounds. I painted Edward from Black Flag peacefully sleeping on the Caribbean beach. And this is the last of the set. I think it was a great idea to use the letters of the alphabet as an inspiration only because it made me try to come up with different ideas that I would not have explored before. Since I took a couple of years to complete it, you can see the progression of the illustrations. I think it's interesting. 
So yes, I think it was great practice. And I have another set similar to this one, but using Lord of the Rings story as the subject. So I'm still completing that one. We'll see. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.